Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Eternium. Hack and slash against the dark forces threatening your homeworld. Experience intense tactical fights in this fast-paced old-school action RPG. Venture into dark caves and dungeons. Explore forests, villages and graveyards. Lay siege to demon-controlled castles, brave snowy mountain peaks and travel to the moon to slay strange creatures among craters and canyons. And beyond to the deserts, pyramids, and jungles of the Red Planet. That sounds really exciting. Also very mysterious. That's actually why I decided to read that second part to you. <laughs> this is an action RPG, a hack and slash, sort of like Diablo. And the character creation and selection works similar to Diablo 1 as well, the earlier Diablo games. Now, if you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all this, to discover about Eternium, you can find some links below. And as always, I guess there will be timestamps. I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe there won't be. It's going to be a very quick video. But the classes that are available here, you get to play as a warrior, a bounty hunter, or a mage. And these classes between themselves, uh, amongst them, you can use swords, axes, staves, and guns. You can also level up to learn new abilities and increase your attributes. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of goes without saying, right? I mean, I don't know. They seem to think this is pertinent information. So, let's cover the classes quickly. I'm going to show you what they look like on uh, male and female. This is the female selection right here. That's the warrior. That's the bounty hunter. That's the mage. The male characters, same thing over here. Warrior, bounty hunter, mage. You don't get to, as far as I can tell, change the visual appearance of your character. Uh, especially, in, well, not here. I don't know if maybe when you're in the game you can pay money to do it, but... I'm only here to look at the character creation system, so this is what I see, and I guess this is what you get. Yeah, as my daughter's teacher would say, you get what you get and you don't get upset, guys. Warrior. The warrior skills are mostly damage-based, but there are some decent defensive options. As you can tell, it's using a shield over here. It is, as far as I can tell, the most well-rounded of the classes and the easiest to jump into and play. The Bounty Hunter. Mostly damage-based skills and abilities. Decent range, obviously, because it's using ranged weapons. And it also has the highest mobility. But it does obviously sacrifice some survivability for that mobility. And for the high damage. Then the mage uses nature-based magic. Very high damage output. And very good area of effect. But far lower survivability. So this guy dies quick. They also have some decent utility. And that's about it. There you go. You know what the classes are all about. I read that there was supposed to be a fourth class, the Spirit Walker, but I don't know if that ever came or if it's ever going to come. I, apparently this was a long time ago, so I doubt we're going to see it. Who knows? Who knows? But these are the classes right now. And now you know. These are the male variations of them. Yeah, I guess they look pretty cool. Uh, this is a mobile game as well as a PC game, so I guess you'd expect it... To be a little lighter on the uh, choices and on the options available, it's fine. I mean, I say that, but then, I mean, you could compare it to something like Diablo Immortal, which had one of the best customization systems that I've ever seen. So, I mean, this is, at the end of the day, a choice that the devs made uh, to make it more simplistic and easier to jump into. And that's fine. It's whatever. This will appeal to uh, a certain type of, a certain group of people. And, and, you know, that'll make them happy, I suppose. But there you go. I'm done. That's the game. If you'd like to tell me what you think about this, if you've actually played this, it actually looks like a really decent game on mobile. I don't know so much about playing it on PC, but on mobile, yeah, this could be a lot of fun. Uh, very simplistic choices, once again, not a lot to go on here. I mean, like Warrior, Bounty Hunter, Mage, yeah, that's the basic ones, right? It's basically your uh, Rogue from Diablo 1, your Warrior from Diablo 1, and your Mage from Diablo 1, the Sorcerer, it's the same ones. Uh, which is cool. I mean, they're going for an old-school style. So there you go. You can check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that good stuff. I appreciate it when you do. You can, as always, also subscribe if you haven't already. And hey, most importantly, happy making those characters and playing those games, man. Happy that. <laughs>